What up, y'all? We're doing our month TBR for sep oct Which month is it? October. October. It sounded like the language that they'd say in like the Sleeping Giants, the aliens. Like sep that oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good call. Call uh, back. Call anyway. back. October. Where, where do you want to start with our wrapped ones? Yeah. So, uh, how long ago? How long has it been? Like forty-three years since I started. Since I wrapped these, I don't know how I got these in the past, but I wrapped them. Then I found them. I buried them. And then I had to. I had to go on a journey. I had the little radar, and it was like bloop, bloop, bloop. And then I dug them all up. They were all there. Were there used to be twelve of them? They were all located in different areas of the world. Um, and it was a journey. You could say it was a journey to the West in some ways. Um, we have three left. We started with 12. Yeah. <laughs> the year is almost over. The year is almost over. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll a D4. Um, it'll be, we'll just do one, two, and three. And on four, we'll re-roll. All right. So do you want to just roll it right here? You can roll no, it. No, you roll it. You roll it. No, you roll it. No, you roll it. Ready? One. Did you say one was the bottom? Yeah. All right. Let's see what this is. It's probably going to... Oh, what'd you think of the last one that you had to unwrap? Didn't love it? All right, cool. Here we go. I read it. You don't have to save the thing, Nick. Ooh. Oh, the Leia book. Oops. Princess of Alderaan. 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 This stinks. Like what? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me smell. Meek, this stinks. Ugh, you, you gotta stink smell. Stink it. Stink it. <laughs> it smells like like paint, like I some don't sort know. of whatever paint they use on it. Oh, I like that red in the inside. That looks nice. Cover red. Cover red too. Oh, it's got the oh, rubble. Oh, sweet. You gotta show them, Meek. You're not showing them. Angle it perfect, beautiful, yes. This is like shiny. Yes. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Do it. 16 year old Princess Leia Organa faces the most challenging task of her life so far, proving herself in the areas of body, mind, and heart to be formally named heir to the throne of Alderan. Alderan. <laughs> Why do you keep saying Alderan? I don't know. She's taking rigorous survival courses, practicing politics, and spearheading relief miss missions to worlds under imperial control. But Leia has worries beyond her claim to the crown. Her parents are acting like themselves lately. They're distant and preoccupied, seemingly more concerned with throwing dinner parties for their allies in the Senate than they are with their own daughter. Determined to uncover her parents' secrets, Leia starts down an increasingly dangerous path that puts her right under the watchful eye of the Empire. And when Leia discovers that her parents and their close and their allies are plan, what her parents and their allies are planning behind closed doors, she finds herself facing what seems like an impossible choice: dedicate herself to the people of Al Alder Alderaan, <laughs> including the man she loves, or to the galaxy at large. Who does, Who she, does she love? love? What do we know of? Like from. Before before the movies, no. no. So there, barely, well, she was in Rebels a little bit. This but, is new canon, so I so guess so. It's we'll, current canon. Yeah. So this is canon, <laughs> not what is it called? Legacy? No, Legends. I don't know. So I guess we'll find out who she loved before Han Solo. Well, it was obviously Luke, right? No, no, that's a lady that wrote it. Cool. cool. TBR jar. Grab that TBR jar. Thank you for very much. I only have three books in there too. I've been successful with reading all of my books so far. I started creating the um, papers for my new TBR jar. Did you? It's gonna take a long time because I'm basically putting every book on my physical TBR in there. So it's gonna be like hundreds of them. You should just type them all up and then print it out and then cut it. Nah. It's fine. Okay. Wait, how is it going to be... So it's not going to be exactly 12. So you're not going to owe it. You're not going to read all of them. Oh, that's terrifying. And I figured, like, if I pull one that I decided to why read don't early you just, or... Why don't you do, like, a list with numbers? 
That's not as fun. Okay. You want to guess? No. Take a guess. Look at this. Sh the... No, no, don't guess. Don't guess. Uh, Soul of the Sword by, is that what it says? Yeah, Julie Kagawa. Which one is that? It's the it sequel to Shadow Japanese. of the Fox. Okay. BRB. So, sequel to Shadow of the Fox. You didn't love this book, but I really liked Shadow of the Fox a lot. Which one is Shadow of the Fox? Uh, the one with the Ronin? Yeah. Got it. I just really love this story, and I hear that it just keeps getting better. You know that that was a journey to the West, like, basically retelling. That's what it seems like, at least. Like with Monkey? I don't know, me. You know, like Goku. I I know. But okay, like, I, just I, don't I wasn't know the, sure if you knew who Monkey I don't was. Knew, That's why. Know I... what the original story is. Well, it's like they're collecting uh, seven sacred scrolls, oh. and they have to journey to a certain air thing to save the world to collect all of them. Isn't that basically what the, the yeah, journey is? Much. They're collecting sacred scrolls. Yeah, I don't. I can't really read anything about this book, but I really love. The and there's first like one. a monk. And, and there's uh, the Monkey King helps the monk, and then they, they encounter new uh, new uh, allies, and uh, and they all go on this big journey, and they fight. This doesn't have a monk in it, though, right? The main character, the girl. Oh. Isn't she like a monk? Oh, I guess. She's uh, like the equivalent. I'm going to have to read a recap of this, because it's now been like well over a year since I read book one, but... I've been meaning to pick this up ever since. And time to do so. I hope I love it as much as I liked the original. So, we want to talk about the big boy? The big boy so in the room? So, what is Any other books you want to read besides this? The, that's the one that I am going to read. Sojourn? I don't have it with you me. Talk, no, this one. No, I'm, I know, but you're not going to read that? I don't know what that is. The third Dritz book. Oh, I'm going to read this one. All right. This is the only one I am 100% committed to reading. I already started it. It's awesome. I love it so far. It's written the way I like. I, I like comp It's complicated, and the world building seems really cool and interesting. And it's like sci-fi fantasy mashup, very Star Wars-esque. Um, I almost said Star Wars inspired, but it's the opposite it's Star Wars. Inspired by this was inspired. Inspiring. Star, Star Wars inspiring. Yeah. There we go. So this is our book club pick for October. So if you want to join, anyone can join. You just read the book. And then we're going to have a live stream on October 25th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You just join in and we can all talk about what we liked or didn't like about the book. And the movie's coming out in December. So it's this good, is the time to yeah. read it. We've never read it. And look at this cover. Look at that. Mm, it's so nice. It's hard to show it off. Oh, it's so cool. It is the best book. And it has the, th the saying on here. Fear is the mind killer, right? Yeah. But yeah, this is like the coolest edition of this book I've ever seen. Agreed. I'm pretty sure we have another edition downstairs, but it's just like the Barnes & Noble, like, leather bound edition the one that we bought for the weddings yeah the wedding books i think we have it um, that was your wedding gift we bought like a hundred books <laughs> and they're all still downstairs somewhere um and my last book that i plan on reading this month i don't even have because it's downstairs buried somewhere and i have to go find it sojourn that's uh sure no i already read that um the uh. crystal shard Oh, that's the first one. It's four, the book four in the Dritz series. So that's the first. But book one in the Icewind Dale trilogy. Oh, I want to get to that one. You got to read Sojourn. Do I have to? Yeah. Because didn't that one come out first? They literally like introduced some pretty. But didn't that come out first? So didn't you read that one first? I did. Dude, finish finish the Dritz series. Finish Exile and Sojourn. What I'm saying is that. I already, I'm, uh, I'm almost done with Exile as of right now. So it's going to be, so my, my next one is going to be... Sojourn. What does that mean, that it's word? It's like a journey, like tra going off Like somewhere. a soul journey? No. I think that's what it means. Like a soul journey? How is it spelled? How is it spelled? S-O-J-O-U-R-N. So like a soul journey. It is a temporary stay. Or staying somewhere temporarily. The opposite. So I was wrong. Complete opposite of a journey. <laughs>
staying somewhere temporarily. You know, English. That's a made up word. I mean, all words are made up, really, if you think yeah. about it. It's not a common word nowadays. Like, no. I didn't even, I've never heard of I that word it was until I up, read I thought, these books a while ago. I thought it was a made up word by, by R.A. Salvatore. No. Um, so those are my four books. Soul of the Sword, Star Wars Leia, Dune, and The Crystal Shard, which, you know, by the wrap-up, I'll have a physical The Crystal copy. Shard, isn't that a puppet movie? The Dark Crystal. Oh, The Dark Crystal, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, you said The Crystal Shard is an actual D&D, like, Oh, it item. is. No, it is. Yeah, it's a very powerful, evil item. It's a. It's not a it good... It is in this, too. It is not a good item. It's... It's a it's a one of one off thing. It create it can create new ones, and you could do a big tower with it. It absorbs light. It's very powerful. And Icewind Dale and the the Icewind Dale uh, f uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden just came out by Wizards of the Coast. That's super exciting, and that's what makes me want to read it because I want to like run that adventure. And it's like if I could if I could know more about it, then maybe it could be cool, and you guys could be like, Ah, Icewind Dale. It's cool. So you're reading two books? I'm going to I'm gonna try to read the third one. Or I may just skip it and go to Icewind Dale. No, Down. you shouldn't read it. It all depends. You can't stop me. Revillian said it was good. You can't stop me. I could just I could just read whatever I want to read. I'll delete it from our account. I dare you to. <laughs> and then you'll have to read it manually. Uh, like an like a, old like a, like a old person's. All right. I think that's it. Pretty short, but... Dune is a big book, and I'm afraid to add too many more books onto my TBR. Guys, I... read Dune. If you don't read anything else this month, read Dune with us. Join us for the book club. What day is it again? October 25th. I want to have like a legit conversation with several people about this, and it's exciting because it's it's a new it's it's not a new book, but it's a it's a it's a book to read right now. This is the time to read it. So I, it's like if you don't read anything else, get the audiobook. The audiobook's pretty... We haven't talked about that. Oh, yeah. The audiobook's pretty cool. It's it's like... I think a great example is like an old-timey like radio drama, you know? And they still have radio dramas now that they do. Like where, podcasts, The podcast yeah. versions of it, yeah. But it's it's written like that. There's even some sound effects and stuff. And, and Essentially, like, instead of saying, like, so-and-so said this and this person said that... And he just, responded in this way. Yeah, like, like yeah. they'll just talk. And because they have separate voice actors for every character... I don't know if it's every character, well, but there's different voices for every character. They, they named off a bunch at the beginning of the audiobook. What? Uh -huh, it's so scary. Why? Like, uh, it's just like overwhelming going into a book when you have like 10,000 characters being shoved down your throat at once. No way. What I do you think mean? it is. Harry Potter. No way. You start with just Harry and basically Hagrid. Well, just Harry. You're a wizard. <laughs> And the Dursleys. <laughs> uh, anyway. I didn't get that when I first read it, that he was calling him just Harry, because he's like, no, I'm just Harry. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like, it was, his name was just Harry. Um, Hagrid. So, yeah, some people gave the audiobook bad reviews because well, of that. Stupid. Um, But he says it's fine. So it's fine. So I'll try it. It's not, I feel like it's, maybe they, those people didn't know what they were getting themselves into, or maybe they're just dumb. So... I have a hard time starting off big, dense fantasies Ugh. only in audiobook. I just got goosebumps. I love it. Like, so, I, uh. I always have to pick up the physical book and read it along with the audiobook if I want to do an audiobook for a big, dense fantasy, and I'm worried that this is going to be difficult doing that with because of how they have the audiobook. Um, it definitely seems like, so far, the type of book that you'll get more, you'll get even more out of it if you read it a second time. Yeah. Like, you'll pick up on all those little, like, hints here and there. Um, but, but that's like Star, like, think of Star Wars, the movie, the movies. Mm -hmm. You, you watch it once and it's like, okay, I got it. Or even Lord of the Rings, which, what I don't like, I don't like the Lord of the Rings movies, but you, you, you watch it once and you're like, okay. And then you watch it again. You're like, okay, I already know that that's Legolas. When they talk about that's the only name I could think of. Um, when they when they're talking, now I know who he is and what what he stands for and stuff. Now I can under, Now I can pay attention to other stuff. Now I understand what's going on. I can I can pay attention to the little things. Like when like I I mentioned this to you a little while ago. Like when the aliens in um, or not the aliens the uh, the separatist leaders in in Star Wars are like 
talking about their plan. First time I watched that, I was just like, kind of, they're bad guys. They're trying to beat the good guys. That's all I need to know. It's a movie. Fun. Bang, bang, boom. Choo, 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 choo. You know, that's it. That's, that's all I need. And then the second time you watch it, you're like, oh. Obi-Wan has nothing to do with the Separatists. You were like, you were confused about the Separatists, but then you were like, oh, now Obi-Wan is awesome. Yeah, that's what I got the second time I watched the movie. <laughs> Obi-Wan is like my favorite character. All right? Uh, and he, he lands on that, he, he lands on that, that uh, planet, and he's like talking to, to the, the council, 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 is it? Um, and then, and then I'm like, yo, Obi-Wan's dope. He's doing all this stuff by himself. And he's like in the rain. And he's like. <laughs> that's the second movie. You're talking about Camino. I'm talking about the uh, the the second trilogy, oh, the prequel trilogy. Just all of it. Because yeah, because the prequel trilogy is the most, I I feel like convoluted mess because it's all like politics and all this stuff. The other ones are a lot simpler yeah. and it's a lot less. I feel like grand. You know, it's like Luke is trying to get to this place and it's like that's it. You know, and then the other one, it's like all of these politics happening. If you don't watch the Clone Wars animated series, you're like, what? Why do I care about these clones? These clones are trash. But then you watch the animated series, you're like, these clones are awesome. It sucks what happens to them. Blah, the blah, the blah. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let us know what your favorite Star Wars movie is. And if you're going to join us for the book club. Yeah, no, just, you got to You got to join us. This is a one-time, Dune will only come out in theaters once. Even All right. though it already did. <laughs> like years ago. It was also like a straight to TV movie on sci fi, yeah. I think. And also they made like a ch child, Children of Dune, which is like a sequel to Dune. It's about like the kids or something. I know um, Dune is like six books, though. Yeah. Well, the main author wrote um, like six. So it's only coming to theaters once. This will never happen again. So, At least not uh, in our lifetimes, probably. Probably not. I mean, I just, like I think I don't think Harry Potter is going to be made again in our lifetime. But I would love to see it made Maybe again. Maybe when we're like ninety. And we're like, like why did we care to, about this? Take me to the VR movie theater. Put it on my head. I can't do it myself. Just plug me in. And then wait, plug, plug me in, and they're gonna go. <laughs> you fell asleep halfway through the movie. Yeah, or died. <laughs> oh man, I took it. That's uh, too far. Sorry. All right. Maybe we'll, like, discover the spice melange and be able to live forever. What do you think? Thanks for watching, guys. Say bye, Meek. Bye, Meek. Bye-bye-bye.